I'm at Parliament Square, directly in front of the Houses of Parliament in Westminster. The square is home to a number of large statues of famous people and we're going to take time to look at each one in turn. The largest and most prominent positioned statue is the one to Winston Churchill. He was Prime Minister during World War II and again uh, in the early 50s. It is said that this position, this prominent position in the square, was dictated by his wife. She wanted it for him. When it was unveiled, there were some complaints at the time that it looked rather too much like Benito Mussolini rather than Churchill. This statue is to David Lloyd George, Prime Minister from 1916 to 22. He was the first and only Welsh-speaking Prime Minister. His first language was Welsh, although surprisingly he was actually born in Manchester. But as a young child he was sent to Wales to live with his uncle, a cobbler, in Carnarvon, and that's where he learnt the Welsh language. The third statue as we move round the green anti-clockwise is to Jan Smuts. He was a great South African politician and leader although his first achievement was to beat the British in the Boer War. He's generally credited with setting up the League of Nations, which later became the United Nations. What I like about this statue is it's been done in a, I guess, a brass material or copper material, so it's got a lovely shade of green as it's weathered. The fourth statue is to Viscount Palmerston. Uh, in proper name was Henry George Temple, a very powerful politician, Prime Minister on two occasions 1855 to 58 and in 59 to 65. His politics seemed like a movable feast as he started as a Tory, later became a Whig and finally a Liberal. He owned a lot of land in Ireland and was responsible during the Great Famine there for evicting 2,000 of his tenants. That's Viscount Palmerston. The next statue is to Edward Stanley, the Earl of Derby. He's one of the few Prime Ministers that had three spells in that office. Rather turbulent times. Prime Minister in 52, 58, 59, 66, 68. Yet he never had a majority in all that time and his total time spent as Prime Minister was only three years and 280 days. This one is to Millicent Garrett Fawcett. She was leader of the suffragette movement for some 50 years. Around the base of the statue are some 50 images. In the centre and at the back of the green is this very tall statue which on the front just has the word Beaconsfield. On the side facing away from the green it gives us the full details of Benjamin Disraeli Earl of Beaconsfield, 1804 to 1881. Beaconsfield has the distinction, among other things, of being the only Jewish Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. When he first became Prime Minister in 1868, he is reputed to have said, I have reached the top of the greasy pole. Greasy pole is an expression we still use. Close by is the statue to Mahatma Gandhi, who spent his life fighting for the independence of India 
and it was obtained from the British in 1947 and a few months later Gandhi was assassinated by a Indian, a Hindu, who didn't like the concessions he'd made to the Muslims. So having his, given his life to the cause, he was then killed by a fellow Indian. The next one is of Sir Robert Peel. He was Prime Minister twice. He's famous for the leading the repeal of the Corn Laws. The Corn Laws uh, stopped importation of corn and therefore protected the price of the growers in England, the wealthy landowners. He cut the legal working hours in factories for women and children and was also notable for being the son of a textile manufacturer, not one of the upper classes. The great man died while riding his horse. He was thrown from the horse, badly injured, and he died three days later. At the end of the square we have this statue of Nelson Mandela. He was president of South Africa from 94 to 99. He spent 27 years in prison and once described it as a long holiday. He once said, do not judge me by my success. Judge me by how many times I fell down and got back up again. Just behind the square is the statue to Abraham Lincoln. He was a president of the United States, 1861 to 65. Famous for the Gettysburg Address and for bringing in the bill that put an end to slavery. This Lincoln statue is known as the Standing Lincoln. The famous one in America has him seated. This one is to George Canning, a very prominent politician in his day. He became Prime Minister and has the record for the shortest time in that position. Canning became Prime Minister in 1827 and he died in office just four months later. So there we have the statues in Parliament Square. We started off with Churchill, Lloyd George, Smuts, and we'll go on round to the perhaps lesser known Prime Ministers. Round here to the more recent one of Millicent Fawcett. We've got Gandhi. In the background we've got Abe Lincoln just across the road got Peel and just on the end there you can see Mandela. Well, I hope you enjoyed this brief tour of these statues in Parliament Square in London. It's nice to see the green empty so often has people with protests on it. So we've got a good day today with nobody here, <laughs> almost nobody here, plenty of tourists. Anyway, Hope you enjoyed it. Till the next time.